Alright guys, today I'm going to answer a question that I've been asking this whole season and last year, and that is, is the Potomac dead? What does that mean? Well, with all the flooding last year, uh, with the flooding sort of this year at the beginning of the season, um, here's my theory. Uh, if you know anything about water quality, uh, depth and turbidity, which is kind of the opposite of clarity, very important to uh, the habitat in the river uh, in all bodies of water. So last year we got historic floods and what happened was, um, of course I couldn't fish too much, but river levels go up, all the water rushes in, bringing all the runoff, gets super dirty, sunlight can't get to the bottom, and therefore grass can't grow. And what grass does is uh, a few things. One, it filters, but more importantly it provides you know, safety and homes and protection for a lot of the little fish, the bait fish. It also provides, you know, ambush points for bigger fish like the largemouth, the smallmouth, uh, probably the muskie that, you know, are in here, um, potentially walleye as well. There has been grass the last two years. I'm hoping, because it's been a few weeks, that I'm going to come out here. Um, river is this away, and I see a little bit of grass. Um, obviously if I don't catch too many fish today, then, you know, one, it's going to suck, but two, uh, it's going to almost pretty much confirm my suspicion that the Potomac, at least for this year and maybe for a few years to come, is kind of dead. So sad. Um, that's what today is all about. It's, uh, to kind of answer a question for myself. And, and maybe help some of you out there who, who love the Potomac and you're asking the same questions. Why, why, why? Honestly, all my fishing buddies and their buddies and their buddies' buddies um, are struggling on the river. You know, it could, it used to be I come out and, you know, a slow day was 15 to 20 fish um, in four or five hours. And now that, that would be a good day. So. I'm hoping I can make something happen, for sure. I'm gonna get this question answered. I'm gonna stop talking because I, I, I tend to talk too much. Um, let's go fish. See you out there. By the way, you guys are on my head today. Head cam. Water is the lowest it has. Ooh! There is a little grass right here. You guys see that? Okay, okay, okay. A little bit of grass. I am liking that. Now, the mat, they're not going to magically just reappear because of the grass, but at least it's a start. And it is, speaking of start, it's starting to rain. <laughs> Yippee. Yippee skippy. I used to hate the grass, guys. It's funny. Because you can't really throw too many lures. You have to throw something weedless. But... It's super important. No food, I think you get the point. No food, no no smallies. No smallies, Chattercaster, very, very sad. All right, this little back eddy behind all these rocks, crazy at the beginning of the season, you couldn't see these rocks at all. This is the first big test, kind of the litmus. If there's fish, there should be at least panfish stacked up behind here, or they're not here. Is that a fish? It is! Oh! It's a cat. No, it's a smallie. Oh my god, thank you lord. He had a buddy with him too. This is a good one. Oh! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh my God, thank you, Lord. Here's the problem with my head cam. I don't know if you guys can actually see the fish. Here we go. That's a nice one and a half. Look at that. Thank you, sir. Off you go. There was a bigger one with him. All right, well, that's a good start. 
Stay away, Thunder. That's all I ask. Hopefully it doesn't rain any more than this and Thunder and Lightning are non-existent. All right, I don't think crayfish are were as affected. I'm gonna go chatter tube and I can hear the rain, it's coming. Dang it. So, it, there's probably drain drops on the camera. I can't really do anything about that. If there are, there are. If there's not, great. But, it's raining. So there's not much I can do. Oh! He smacked it. Stay out of the rock, stay out of the rock, stay out of the rock. These fish are pretty healthy, man. Slanky. Slanky danky. Thank you, sir. There's two. There's two. Maybe it's not dead. Completely. If you guys notice, my rod tip is way up because it's shallow. I'm only knee deep. Foot and a half, two feet. I'm trying to get this keep this off the the rocks and snags sorry guys my head cam yeah my head's gonna be moving a lot because i gotta see where i'm stepping gotta be watching my bait my lure find places to cast that's also why i wanted to go to the head cam hopefully you guys can see okay you gotta be real careful about a flash flood Long here, Sunny. I am getting slammed on this every cast, which is great because that means there's panfish. And I did see beds, that means more food for smallmouth. Initial assessment, it's not dead. Maybe there's a few less fish. Uh, I came to this back cut and lots and lots and lots of bites, which is great. Um, they are mostly all long ears, okay. Had two pretty good small mouth at the beginning. Um, I do think the grass has played a factor. So you, you science people out there, that know about all your food webs and whatnot, those producers, those plants, super important to uh, everything in this river. Um, and kinda it seems that, you know, it goes the way of the grass. If you have some grass, it doesn't have to be a lot, then you're gonna have fish. Um, and you can kinda picture that whole food web in your head. But uh, I'm gonna keep fishing here. It might be a couple years before, you know, we hit those 40, 50 fish days on the Potomac. Um, so yeah. Sweet. Little guy. All right, here's the dilio. I think there might be grass up there. So I'm gonna try to charge for like 20 minutes or so and then get you guys back on. I'm taking a risk here because my battery is not quite dead, but it's dying. Yeah. Oh, check this out. I put you guys away. Probably was a mistake. I just landed. Probably a 15 to 20 pound cat. He is a monster. Let me get you guys. Let me. I, I got him. Hold on. Let me get him up 
to this camera. Look at him. Whoa! On a chatter tube, he is a freaking beast. He's probably 15. He's not 20. I gotta make sure I got a good grip. They're so slick and slimy. What a freaking beast. Oh! I'm gonna get back in where I just caught him. And maybe I can get another. He is, he is 15, definitely. Uh, I don't know, it's hard to tell. But 15, that's what I'm going with. Thank you, Mr. Cat. I fought him for about two minutes. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the fight, but mwah, thank you, sir. I'm gonna let you go nice and easy. See ya. Yeah! Chatter tube cat. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys back off. I know, right? The grass is right up there. Oh, I got another one. So, uh, it seems I need to attach you guys back up and stop charging. Let's get a little underwater release with this guy. Close you up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Another one in there. Another little guy. Spunky. All right, I'm gonna have to turn you guys off again. I'm sorry you're missing all these fish. Into something big. I just freaking turned you guys off too. Gotta save battery. Nice fish. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get out over here. It's pretty steep. As long as there's not poison ivy, I sure would be a little scurry up the wall. Poison ivy is never fun, guys. As long as I can avoid it. It's just, it's limiting where I can actually, and this is not even, this is loose. Ouch. I'm going to bow out of this one. I'll go down a little further. Be back. It's naked time. I don't think he's still going to be there, but that was cool. Wow, he came back. That's amazing. Huh. Top water frog. So cool. Fatty. Thank you. He hit it twice. It almost never happens. Well, guys. Is the Potomac dead? I think the easy answer is no. But I still think that smallmouth population has been affected uh, from the floods. One, I think it directly killed them. Um, all the rain last year and this year at the beginning of the year. Um, and then on top of that, double whammy, uh, probably killed off a lot of their food source. Um, not bad day today, you know, considering Got a little rain, uh, caught a few nice smallmouth, had one monster cat. That was pretty sweet. I wish you guys could have, could have seen that. Um, all in all, solid. Potomac is not dead. It's going to take a little while, I think, to uh, repopulate to back where it was a couple, you know, four years ago. Um, but I'm hopeful. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you next time.